Is it working? What do you mean, shockingly? <laughs> yeah, I changed my wallpaper today. Uh, I was gonna cosplay today, but then my meetings were two hours instead of 20 minutes. I didn't think there was that much to talk about, but it's about stuff that's uh, upcoming in the next five months, so it was important. Ew, there's new people here! What the frick? Where'd you come from? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Welcome. Leak it? Okay, well, uh, I mean, the reason I wanted to ask about it is because I wanted to, like, hear people's opinions on it because... So basically, um, Twitch wants to give me a lot of money to do a show, like, a big budget. But I was like, okay, but it has to be a good show. I, I think I brought this up before that I was gonna have a show this year, so I, like, I've been thinking about it. Oh yeah, the other thing is, um, I also had an, a meeting about the new podcast today with, uh, Asmin and Techie. So, <laughs> the, you know how I came up with the name Steak and Eggs as a joke? Everyone was like, yeah, no, we actually like that and we can't think of anything better, so the OTK podcast is just the Steak and Eggs podcast now. Uh, and that's probably gonna launch mid-February or early February. Like, we're pretty much already ready to go. We just need to finish graphics and, uh, film our announcement video. And then we'll start, because, I mean, it's literally just gonna be us three dumbasses talking. But after the first two episodes, we're probably gonna have guests every week. But it's probably mostly gonna be OTK people. Will it be in the studio? Uh, we're, we have a new set. The set's already done. Can the show be about anything? It's, yeah, it's just gonna be a general, like, media, news, whatever the fuck we feel like talking about, podcast. And then whenever we have guests, it's probably gonna be centered around the guest. So, uh, yeah. Will it be live? No, it's gonna be recorded in, uh, on YouTube and audio platforms, same as Noodle Shop. <coughs> yeah, it'll be cool. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still coughing a little. Uh... For my birthday. Um, so <coughs> I didn't really like expect to do anything. And <coughs> Bonnie, well, it was like 90% Bonnie, set up like a <coughs> small surprise birthday thing for me, which thank God, if it was a big surprise party, <laughs> I would have been so stressed. It was just like five, six people, it was perfect. I was so- I was like, oh my god, this is freaking awesome, thank you guys. Okay, what, what was I gonna talk about? Oh, okay, so, my show, um, <laughs> it's not gonna be like other shows on Twitch. Uh, it's probably gonna be a once a month show, but Twitch had like an idea in mind and gave- have like a huge budget. So basically what they wanted was they were like, we want to start doing reality show type shit on Twitch, but live. And me and, um, OTK's producer person were like, okay, I- that sounds difficult. Like, what the fuck? So basically what they wanted me to do was, uh, like a America's Next Top Model inspired thing. And I was like, uh, let's just do a standard game show like everyone else does. But then uh, I started getting this idea after I heard how much budget they had, where, so basically I had this idea where it could be, bro, I'm so bad at explaining things. So it'll be like four to five streamers. And then I find cosplayers. So like girls on um Instagram, TikTok, whatever, who are really talented, cool cosplayers and fly them out here or wherever the set is and then they team up with a streamer and they have to like basically work together to put the streamer in a costume like the the girl will help them and it'll like promote the girl like more cosplayers will be known on twitch and then like you get to see the the uh streamer in like a really cool costume because probably most of those cosplayers are going to be more talented than me 
I thought that'd be kind of cool, and it's once a month, so it'll be like, you know, a lot of planning going into it, can find different people each time. You guys think that's cool? Yay! I, lit <laughs> I literally just like flushed out the idea today. I've been thinking about it for three months. Okay, originally when they told me that they wanted a cosplay theme show, I was like, oh my god, that's gonna be so fucking corny. <laughs> the original idea that's, uh, Someone at an OTK meeting had was like, what if you just throw a bunch of clothes and wigs in a room and then some cosplayers have to figure out an outfit for two hours? And I was like, uh, yeah, let's work on that. But I, I feel like the team's idea would be pretty cool. What's the budget? Uh, more than enough to <laughs> fly people out and give them a budget to prepare costumes for the streamers. And then also have like <coughs> prize money. For the cosplayers, I don't know if the streamers would really care about that, but it'd be nice to give some money to the cosplayers, you know? Yeah, I thought it'd be cool. Yeah, the budget is $50 an episode, or $50 for the whole season. <coughs> Will it be judge or- s yeah, there would be- I would be a judge slash host. Like, um, I would obviously be, like, announcing and guiding the segments. And then, I I probably want to co-host, but it doesn't have to be the same person every time. I was thinking about asking <coughs> Jessica if she wants to do like a couple episodes. It'd be nice if it was like a panel of like three judges. It could even be like fucking tips or something. Like, it doesn't have to be someone who actually knows what they're talking about. But, yeah, so, I thought that'd be cool. <laughs> Hasman? Yeah. So, yeah. How long would the pros have to make the costumes? Well, the the schedule they want is a monthly show, so I'd probably um, start finding cosplayers that want to come out like a month and a half in advance, and then they would have like five to six weeks to make or order something, which should be enough time. Because I know some people are probably going to want to make really nice stuff, so yeah, I would, I would give them time. Would this be in LA? Well, the producer was telling me it could be in different cities each time. So, but I mean, it would pro it would have to be like Austin or LA if like streamers are gonna be half of the cast. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, they're just like, yeah, we can do that. Would I be able to pick the streamers? Yeah, uh, Twitch is actually like, they actually give a lot of freedom for shows. Uh. They pretty much are just like, this is like generally what we want, here's the budget, try to make it good, <laughs> pretty much. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad that it seems like you guys are interested in that, because I was like, this sounds good to me, but I don't know if other people would find it interesting, because I, I could just like get paid to like put on a show once a month and it's like, whatever, it flops, but I wanted it to actually be good, so I tried to put thought into it. Yeah, so that's fun. And I'm excited too because there's a lot of cosplayers that I'm like acquainted with, but I would never really have a reason to meet them besides like a con or something. So it'd be cool to message them on Instagram or TikTok or whatever and be like, hey, you want to come hang out and like do cosplay stuff and get paid? I, I can think of a lot of people that would probably do it. And if nothing else, I can just treat like, hey, any cosplayers in the Austin area or that want to come to Austin want to be on this show and team up with a streamer. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> Surely they won't turn down. I can definitely find people. <laughs> and since they're a month apart, I feel like it won't be bad if like people come on more than once. Like especially if it's someone that people really like. Like some really cool cosplayer. <laughs> I already know how it's gonna go because these are probably gonna be mostly good looking women. I already know how this is gonna go, <laughs> but I think it'll be- I think it'll be fun. <laughs> you freaking fricks. I- it would be cool to find some, uh, guy cosplayers too, but they're, uh, a bit harder to come by. <laughs> oh shit, I should invite Ace Trainer Ben! Oh my god, that would be so sick. And, um, who's the- who's the guy who won the last one too? Oh, what was his name? I feel like they both would. They've both been, like, kind of involved in the community since, uh, getting first place in the contest. 
Yeah, I think it'd be cool. And since um, it's gonna be good cosplays, I feel like a lot of streamers would want to do it. Cause I mean, who doesn't want to look good on camera? Be made up by a professional. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. Sneaky! Oh my- wait, I have to start writing stuff down. Oh my god. Um... <coughs> when is it gonna happen? Uh, the target release for the show is June, I think? Finster? Oh my god. That would be so good. <laughs> Yeah, I think sneaking in box box would. Yeah, so I have six months to plan and even start asking people if that's something they'd be interested in. Does it have a name yet? Oh, thank, thank you actually reminded me. Uh, <laughs> so it does have a template name, but I think it kind of sucks. So I was trying to think of a new name. So if anyone has a <laughs> name for an idea, I could yoink. <laughs> Steak and eggs, wow, great name. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the the idea for the the show name that they had was <laughs> I don't know. What the show would be. Um it's supposed to fit within 2 hours, so I feel like it doesn't need to have that much like crazy shit happening. So the beginning would be like, "Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Emmy." Yeah, here's the the streamers that you probably all know. And then I would introduce the cosplayers, because probably most people uh, wouldn't have heard of them before. Introduce them, show some of their work, or some of their cosplays. Could have like a- Like a play-by-play -play of like some of their like pictures or TikToks or something. And then uh, I explain the show. They like put them into stuff, maybe there's some kind of like challenge or like obstacle or something, but I don't want to force it too much, I feel like that'd be cheesy. And then there's like a judging sec a segment at the end, and the cosplayer like- not the cosplayer, the streamer in their cosplay with like, <coughs> pose and shit. So yeah, pretty simple. The cosplayer and the beast. How many episodes? Uh, probably just like a six episode season, but- uh, Twitch would probably want to renew it if it does well, which I think it probably would. What does the winner win? Uh, probably just cash. <laughs> I feel like we can give the cash to the cosplayer, and then we make little trophies for the streamers, because as everyone says, streamers don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I'll just like have a- uh, because OTK makes really nice uh, trophies. Uh, you guys probably saw the like Luke Goblins ones. They've made some other ones too. Oh yeah, they made like a schooled one. I, I could like have my own little trophy. What do I do on the show? Uh, I host. And they wanted it to feel like reality TV, but I, I don't think that's like entirely possible live because I mean reality shows, they do so much editing and like they have those like one-on-one -on -one interviews, but I'd probably be like walking around the floor, like asking them questions, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. And then sometimes maybe like I'm not there, I'm in like a booth, but I'm like basically reacting and narrating what's going on with like the other judges or co-hosts. Yeah, there's like a lot of stuff <coughs> that could be done. <laughs> IRL reacts. <laughs> Menacing. Oh my god, it's so sick because then I could show up in cosplay too. Oh my god, this is gonna be so fun. Yay. Did a face try and fail to do a reality TV? I actually have no idea. This is the first I've heard of that. Could you lotto pick the cosplayer and streamer at the end of each episode? Probably not because I would have to like ask people first and then if I ask them, I don't want to be like, actually, never mind, we pick someone else. <laughs> Especially because I would imagine most of the cosplayers probably have day jobs, so they would have to like plan ahead for that. Would there be themes for each show? I'd probably just let the cosplayer slash streamer like discuss and pick whatever they want. Like it could either be like the cosplayer decides what they're gonna put on the streamer or they like discuss it together ahead of time. And then just like show up with it, you know? <clears throat> Yeah.
you should do themes, but like this show or something. I feel like it's more fun if like they can have creative freedom to do whatever they want, but I don't know. I mean, since it's a monthly show, it's going to be pretty easy to like adapt episode to episode if there's stuff that needs to be fixed. Will Jessica be involved? <coughs> I'm planning to ask her if she wants to come out for any of them, yeah. Oh, I mean, for like October, Halloween theme would make sense. Could be like a horror theme or something. Why monthly? Um, that's just the re release schedule that they wanted. I don't know. I mean, imagine if I was doing it, like, weekly. That would be fucking hell. My whole life would be, like, preparing for it every week. <laughs> imagine doing it daily. I should just do it daily. <laughs> There's no c problem with copyright when it comes to cosplay? Yeah, that, sh that shouldn't be an issue. Or, like, every cosplay contest would, uh, have problems. Oh, he'd be bald in a few months if it was weekly. Well, we also talked about um, bi-monthly, but I just feel like monthly is better. I don't know. Is this funded by <coughs> Twitch or is it a Twitch Presents thing? I think it's just funded by Twitch and then I shill whatever sponsor they have, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I just- I pretty much just have to think of a name at- <laughs> Twitch was, like, asking for the pitch for the show, uh, <coughs> like, two to three months ago, and I was like, I don't know, I'll think about it. And then our producer called me today and was like, did you think about the show? And I was like, uh... And then I, like, started, like, in the meeting, googling America's Next Top Model, and I was like, oh, model and designer! What if it's, you know, streamer and cosplayer? Like, someone who actually knows what they're doing, and they are like, oh, that's good. I was like, oh, thank god, crisis averted. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, and then stuff for before then, uh, I have to start planning the next- Oh! I feel like if I do a cosplay contest in April, that'd be like great for announcing the show like, to a wider audience. That would be nice. Because I also want to do another league tournament in the next, like, four months. Uh, or actually- holy shit, the new league- when does the new league season start? Actually, maybe this month or next month. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> next week? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Host league tourney but doesn't play? Well, <coughs> I still like hosting uh, gaming tournaments, and it's like, what other game would I host? You playing <coughs> Civ 6? <coughs> I'm sorry, um, I downloaded it to play with my brother and his friends. But I do an Overwatch tournament. I just hate watching uh, Overwatch tournaments because of the camera. Uh, I would rather play it. Or just watch one person play it. <clears throat> oh yeah, getting Captain Flowers won't be a problem. You think for Lee you'll be out of studio like last time? I don't know. I, I kind of honestly prefer just like the scuffed sitting in my room thing. <laughs> Am I wrong? I feel like it's more cozy for, like, events. Like, I feel like my first cosplay contest was more cozy, too. Yeah. I feel like scuffed is better for streamers, because it's like, I'm not fooling anyone. I'm, I'm no professional host, so why act like one? Obviously likes to cosplay. I oh, should be cool to have on as a um, guest judge. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah, we can do like. Hmm. Well, there's already a lot of people in Austin that would be good for the show. 
Maybe like half LA, half Austin for the show. I don't know. Yeah, the judges can come and cosplay too. Henry as a guest judge! Oh my god. Yeah, Twitch, uh, so I was thinking about, cause I, uh, our producer told me they were like, oh, Twitch does have a budget, but we have to like pitch what we think the budget will actually be, but they told us like a rough number. And I was trying to calculate how much it would cost per episode if I'm like flying people out and like getting them hotels and stuff. And I was like, uh, this is a lot of money. And, and they were like, oh, it's actually more money than that. And I was like, wait, so I can just do whatever the fuck I want, basically. And they were like, yeah, so I'm going to try to have fun with it. <coughs> I'll try to make it cool. Use all of the money. I'm actually gonna try to min-max it. Like, try to make it as cool as possible and, like, give as much as possible to the cosplayers that are coming out. Are you cracking your knuckles? Oh, so I'm playing with a hair barrette as a nervous tick, I'm sorry. Banky, she's here! Will the cosplayers have a set budget? Yeah, I'm- I'm gonna give them money to get whatever they need. Probably, like, Probably like $500 a person. Something like that. I feel like that's more than enough, cause um... If they're doing like... Most cosplays do not cost more than like 150 But I, I want to give them money to work with if they have like a cool idea, you know? Updates on the emote contest. Uh, I'm just having a person make me like a graphic for it that I can like post under the stream and stuff and then I'll be like hey it's due by this day and then we'll have the stream on that day and like pick the emotes. How do you determine a winner? Well like for the the show uh, it would be me and then like two other judges. We would probably have like a list of categories and then maybe we could also like let chat have some input. Uh, maybe like 25% pull or something because I don't want it to just be like whoever's the most popular streamer wins, you know I feel like chat is usually pretty fair though with like what actually is the best one when it's things like that though Like they don't just pick who's the most popular, but uh, Yeah, it, it would be like a panel of judges basically Clueless <laughs> it depends. Yeah, but uh, yeah Would you do a finale show? Um, it depends. We- we st this is like- the show's still like in its pitching stage. I pretty much was just like, okay producer, bring this to Twitch. And now, I'm gonna go back and do all the retroactive work I should've done in the first place. Like seeing if this is something people actually want to watch. So I haven't figured all that out yet. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what people's reaction to it was pretty much. <coughs> a finale would be cool, but at the same time, I feel like it's like, what can you really do different for a finale? Like, even if I give them like a thousand dollar budget, they're still gonna have like a month to make or buy stuff. So, if, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. The other thing I have to decide is, <coughs> I mean, I probably have to like do some math on uh, how long things would take if it's gonna be like four pairs or five pairs of people per show i think four so um four streamers four cosplayers but it might need to be five for filling time's sake because it has to be two hours but i don't want it to be like too much is this channel shadow banned i just don't put myself in a category so kind of but I did it to myself. Shadow banning isn't real, by the way. That's some copium shit. <coughs> Shadow banning's real. My stream has zero viewers. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm sick. 
<laughs> I might have a cold now. Twitter did it? Okay, may maybe it is real on certain platforms, but I'm just so sick of seeing people on like Instagram and TikTok being like, I get no likes, so it's because I'm shadow banned and I'm like, bruh, like, I'm sorry, you just need to like, I, I, I don't want to say it, but... <laughs> Emicron was exactly Irga. That was a terrible time. Okay, yeah, so I have to plan that show. Uh. Show name crossover? That's not a bad name. I kind of want the, the name to be like when people hear it, they're like, oh, that's cosplay slash fashion related because that's what Twitch wanted to <laughs> name it cross dressing. No! No one said that. That's just me talking to myself in my head. Uh. <laughs> crossplay is also cross dressing. Cosplay clash? That's not bad. Um. Uh. Just cause. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, I'm trying to think of a name that it's like obvious it's like can I just name it like Twitch's next top model? No. I can't. <laughs> just steal it. Okay, so the idea that the producer came up with the sh for the show was cosplayed. I was like, bro, everyone just takes a word and puts ED at the end of it. Every show. <laughs> Emma Rouge Drag Race. Dress up my streamer! Oh, dress up streamer! I dress up darling. That's not bad. That's kind of cute, but I don't know. <coughs> hey, I'm cosplaying over here, sending a New York accent for a title. Uh, my name is Emmy, and you just got cosplayed. Oh my god. That's so bad. <laughs> Pimp my cosplayer? Okay, that sounds like something else, so we're not doing that. <coughs> that is bad. <laughs> Cosplay goblins, yep. <laughs> Cosplay I for the straight guy. <laughs> Luke cosplays. Para cosplay. Mm. Twitch me up! <laughs> that sounds so bad! Holy shit! That is that is terrible! Emru and her show. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh no. Make me Twitch! No! That's so bad! Oh my god. <laughs> Mogul cosplay. Mm -hmm. The first one I- I kind of like dress up streamer, but it, it sounds kind of childish at the same time. My dress up streamer. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll stop popping the barrette. It's not my fingers. Twitch's closet. Uh... Cosplay Wars. 
I mean, cosplay clash isn't bad, but... I don't know, like... Maybe this is just, like, in my head, but I feel like the word cosplay already, like, is like, oh, this is, like, a niche thing. <laughs> Out the closet! <laughs> That's not bad. I have to come up with a name in, like, the next couple of days because they were, like, so... Are we gonna start working on graphics or what? And I was like, uh... Can you just cha change- can you just like make the font and then change the title? If I come up with a better one, they were like, no. So... <clears throat> Closet Companions? That's not bad. Um... Costume Closet... Uh, cosplay royale, streamers in disguise. Uh, cosplay contest. That sounds familiar. Closet companion sounds like prostitutes. What? How are so many of these names so like bad sounding? Cosplay Rumble, Emeru's Secret, holy shit, no. <clears throat> Cos Streaming, that's not bad. Dress to Depress, oh wait, Dress to Impress is kind- not a bad name, I feel like, because it's like a, a phrase, but it like also fits the show. But they said Dress to Depress. <coughs> Dress to impress is four syllables. Make it a coomer name and bait all the coomers for extra viewers. No. Coming out the closet. <coughs> Yeah, I'll just make the title, I'm literally Gwen, so watch my show, because she's the seamstress. Cosplay, we booing. That was a question, but sure, yeah. <clears throat> People that don't see the sun. <sighs> yeah, I, I should name it something that like, fits it. Like, is it just like random? But I also don't want to name it like blank cosplay or cosplay blank. I mean, maybe that's just what's for the best, like cosplay clash, but I, I, I kind of like dress to impress or dress up streamer. Cosplay Clash? That sounds like some Twitch rival shit. Pit my streamer is good too. No, it is not. <clears throat> Dressed and press is already a TV show. Oh shit. Then we can't use it. Yeah, then we can't. Because it's already trademarked then. I mean, there's no way there's a show called Dress Up Streamer. <laughs> Fantasy fashion. Mm. <laughs> 90 day cosplay. Oh shit, AI generated names. The costume game, wow. Um, the op outfit obstacle course. Um, fashion frenzy. Dress up duel? That's not bad. Um. The garb games! <laughs> the garb games! <laughs> no. 
that one's sick. <laughs> That's so... Garb games? Garb games? That's that sounds so gross. I don't know why that sounds gross. Garb games, garb games is. Are you serious? Garb games. Garb games. Oh, and then I can make just show about a joke about the show being garbage. Garbo games. Hmm. I feel like it. Uh, I don't know. <coughs> Loose threads. I feel like that's too, like. It is good, but it's, like, vague, kinda. Sounds like a sewing show. Just name it something that's not really into cosplay at all. I'm gonna name it Emmy's Show. The Hanger Games. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, hold on. I have to look for a cable. Lost the cable. Uh, yeah, Ms. asked where my laptop cable is, but I I don't know because I think it got moved when he redid his carpet or whatever. Do they need it for <coughs> the stream? <coughs> Ow! Yeah, I don't know where it is. They're using it. Wait. They're <laughs> they're doing co-op, but he didn't prepare another computer. Um. Yeah, I don't. <coughs> One second, let me look again. I found a different laptop because I have like six laptops because companies keep sending them to me and I'm like, I don't, I don't need this. And they're like, take it, please. And I'm like, I, I okay, I've given away like three of them. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go take this laptop down out downstairs.
Don't dare walk in. Bro, if I walk in, I'm not walking out for ten fucking minutes. I will- <laughs> They're gonna start a conversation. <clears throat> I feel like they're waiting. I, I, I just messaged him and said I left it outside the door. You can promote the Garb Games there. We're not naming it the Garb Games. <coughs> He's waiting. Oh yeah, I heard him say like, hello. I was like, did you hear my footsteps? And I was like, nah, I, I ain't going in. And I just walked back upstairs. <laughs> No, we're not naming it Pimp My Streamer. How is this woman always sick? Bro, it's been like three streams and it's been like this. What do you mean? Streamers and seamers. Wait, that also sounds bad. Oh, uh, how are these like, is this just set up to sound bad? <clears throat> Game of garbs. Just dress up. Dress up hosted by Emru. That actually doesn't sound bad. Cause you have to remember it's probably gonna be like blank hosted by Emru. <clears throat> I mean it doesn't have to be something crazy or super clever. Most game show names aren't anything like super clever or catchy. Having your name and it will subtract viewers? Frick you asshole. Why would you say that? <laughs> Cosplay souls. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be on my channel. Dolled up. That's not bad. Another? <laughs> maybe, maybe this is a... Another, like, thing that's just in my head, but I worry if the name sounds too feminine, uh, guys will be a little more reluctant to go on it. Some- some guys, not all guys. I doubt that, yeah, it might just be in my head. Overthinking moment. Okay, then go with Coomfest. We're not- no. <laughs> We're not calling it Coomfest. We're not calling it Pimp My Streamer. Five guys in thighs. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Pimp My Streamer is sick though, but there's no way Twitch would be okay with that. Even though it is a good name, there's no way Twitch would be okay with that. And then if we had any female guests, I feel like it'd be weird. Ask them? Okay, I'll ask them, just for the reaction, and then I'll tell you how they reacted, because I already know how this is gonna go. I actually haven't had like a direct meeting with them yet. They've just been communicating through uh, uh, our producer and stuff. Or I mean, I think you guys know our producer, Jacob. He did like all the um, stuff for Noodle Shop. You made a nice PowerPoint for them. No. Oh my God! And they showed me um the. The, I, I can't show it, but they showed me like the design for the logo and it looks sick, but I was like, yeah, I just needed to come up with a name. <clears throat> and then you'll see it when you see it in like five months. I have a logo with no name because before they start making logos, 
they'll make mood boards uh, with other logos and graphic things to be like, hey, is this what you want or is this what you want? And then you like pick it and yeah. So like I already know what it's gonna look like basically. I just don't know the name. <clears throat> I'm gonna be disappointed if the show gets canceled now. I mean, <laughs> if it gets canceled, then something else will happen. So it'll be fine. But Twitch has like been very persistent about this because at first when they asked me, I was kind of like, oh, well, I mean, I mean, I guess I would, but like, I don't know. But they've they've been asking a lot and like pushing a budget, and I was like, wait, they actually want to do this a lot. So I was like, okay, I'll try to make it good. Playing hard to get. I just was like, this is not my kind of thing. But uh, I feel like this will basically be like a um, game show type version of the cosplay contest combined with my own like. Uh, having people over and putting cosplay on them, collab streams, so. <clears throat> I was not forced to do this. Will you get paid for it? Uh, no. If, how do I explain this? Um, no, but yes, but no. I don't know how to explain it in, in a way that, like, I'm allowed to say. No, uh, let me think. Basically, it adds value that will end up becoming money for me later, but I don't get a direct payout from the show. They just give me a budget, but I, I don't, like, pocket any of it. Like, it, 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 um, I guess I can say, like, it, like, these types of things add a lot of value to, like, a, a Twitch contract, for example. But I, I don't, like, get paid directly from the show. Yeah. Paid exposure? <laughs> I mean, I would still do something like this for free, because, I mean, it's it's a cool thing to have on my channel once a month that they're uh, funding, so. So they won't pretend you don't exist and let you sign to YouTube? That's the goal. Nah. I, I don't think I'd be happy on YouTube. Yeah, I, I don't think I ever want to switch platforms. <clears throat> Will he be on the front page? Uh, probably for some of the episodes. But, I mean, front page doesn't do a crazy amount for a channel like mine. But, I mean, it'll still help. I, I don't know, like, what the numbers are for front page, but, I mean, I see some people who normally get, like, a thousand viewers have, like, 8 to 15k on the front page, but it seems like it really depends, like, what time of day it is. I don't know. I'm excited now. I'm definitely gonna start, like, researching, uh, cosplayers I want to invite, because I feel like that's gonna be, like, one of the most interesting parts of the show. I want to try to find cosplayers who are already streaming on Twitch, even if they're really small or, like, barely stream, because then I feel like it'd be cool to be able to promote their channel, but it it's not necessary. They could just be, like, TikTok cosplayers or something. We can still promote their stuff, so it's fine. Can we suggest some? Yeah. As long as, like, they have, like, open DMs or a business email, which I assume 
All of them would. <sighs> I already know most of these people that are, are being typed that are cosplayers. Uh, yeah, I know Nora. Well, I don't like know her, know her, but. <coughs> oh, Snitchery would be sick. She's awesome. Birch twins. Um. Oh, I know Rotten Poppy too. Germa. <laughs> <coughs> would you also bring on photographers? Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Cause um, when I was talking to the producer, I was like, we should make sure we have really nice those like cameras that are on those um arm things that you can like control them in all directions so we can do like f like really nice like walking shots of the cosplayers and stuff. <clears throat> uh, I don't know Cinna no, but I think she follows me so I could probably contact her. I feel like I know that name, but um, it also has to be people who like uh, cosplay is like a very active hobby for them. Like they really know what they're doing. They don't have to be like Jessica Negri building fucking armor and crazy shit, but you know, like they're like at least like makeup artist status in their skill. <clears throat> So you're disqualified? Yes. Cyan. Yeah, I also want to find people who, like, wouldn't necessarily be, um, super well-known girls. But I'll probably just, like, put out some, like, reach tweets or just, like, find contact some mutuals that I have. Excited, this will be cool. Get NMP lol, he did a pretty cool cosplay. Uh pro yeah, everyone on OTK will probably be a a guest, definitely. And then yeah, I can ask some LA streamers. Sears gonna win it, bro. Sears strutting on the runway in professional cosplay makeup and wig would be fucking legendary. Oh my god, I have to get him on an, an episode with Will. I feel like they would just be so amazing to, and like the judging together. That would be sick. Will there be a runway? Yeah, I am. Um, I've been trying to think about how the set would be designed. Because there's also a budget for the set, and I, I think there definitely should be, like, a RuPaul's Drag Race style judging panel and runway, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> As for, like, the actual prepping room, I don't think it has to be anything crazy. Probably something that looks kind of cozy. Project cosplay like Project Runway. It kind of sounds like something that might already exist. <coughs> Themed room for photos. Yeah, backdrops and stuff would be nice, but um, I have to think about the budget since I'm probably gonna be flying in at least four people an episode, so plus myself if it's in LA and then giving glass players <coughs> a budget <coughs> Cam 
Kamui? Oh, she's sick. Oh, um, yeah, I'm thinking of, like, some of those, like, really, like, top-tier crafting cosplayers, like Yaya Han, too. I feel like they would consider it. They're friends with Jessica. Still th master dress. Master dress isn't bad. <coughs> Did you write this person down? Is this per- Oh, this person's from the contest. Um, I'm pretty sure this person is in EU, though. But it's not- Imp it's not like out of the question to fly out EU cosplayers. It would just be m more expensive and harder to get them to agree to it. <clears throat> She's EU? Bro, I'm not- first of all, I'm not paying for it. And second, I just think it makes it less likely people will want to come out. Actually, you know, I, I think a lot of people would take a free trip to LA. Yeah, Austin, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> if they're like, uh... A lot of the cosplayers that won last contest that were really good were EU or like, um, South America. Brazil and Ecuador and shit. <laughs> Brazil streams. Has anyone ever made a show like this before? Um, not on Twitch. <laughs> I mean, the the designer and model format is pretty much America's next top model. Right? I mean, I actually haven't really watched America's Next Top Model. I just googled it and read some stuff. <clears throat> They might need a work visa if you're paying them. Even if it's for like a, a like sweepstakes, like contest, because I was able to pay them fine for the contest. They're, they're not like employed or anything, so I think it's fine. I don't know. I guess that's something we'd have to figure out. Twitch would know. I'll just ask them in the next meeting. <clears throat> One episode you can switch roles and have streamers dress up- Oh my god. I- I don't think the cosplayers would agree to that because probably half of them are gonna be, uh, attractive women who a lot of their job is their image online. They're not gonna want, like, soda pop to, like, draw, like, clown lipstick on their face. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but I don't know if everyone would agree to it or be comfortable with it. Would I step up my TikToks to promote this? Oh, I didn't even think about that. That would be a good idea. Uh... <coughs> TikTok isn't dead. It's just like... It's not the kind of audience that's gonna help my Twitch, which is my main thing. Copium, bro, you guys are insane if you think TikTok is dead. <sighs> TikTok used to be my, my biggest source of income for a while because I would get crazy um, cosplay sponsorships on TikTok, but I just stopped doing them because I started focusing on other things. But like, I, I still could use TikTok as a source if I wanted to, but I just prefer Twitch a lot more. <clears throat> I 
can cosplay tomorrow. Uh, I was gonna cosplay Mona today, but I thought I'd be done with my meetings by four, and that didn't work out. <coughs> There's a TV show called Face Off for makeup artists and that is some ideas you can take. Um, yeah, I haven't really watched any of those, like, fashion reality shows. I watched RuPaul's Drag Race, but, um, I can't really think of that many things to yoink from that. They had a lot of challenges, but it was, like, drag-related challenges. <coughs> James Charles had a YouTube one. Was that one any good? That was like a makeup artist show, right? That was also edited though. Oh, Instant Influencer. Yeah, it's hard to take inspiration from these shows because they're like filmed over a week and then edited. But this is like a two hour show, so there's only so much we can do. Yep. <coughs> Dress up my streamer or cosplay takeover. Uh, I- <laughs> I do like the name- Wait. Uh, fuck. This whole time, I've been accidentally sending my notes to Miz instead of posting them in my personal Discord. Uh, that's awkward. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to swap back. I was like, wait, where's my other notes? Why why are there messages about a laptop? It's like, what the fuck is this shit? That's awkward. I just deleted all of them. You said I'm like 20 names? copy pasted it. I literally sent him like 20 names. It's like Stella Chu, Sinano, Nora Fawn, Jenna, Snitchery, Germa, <laughs> Bring On Photographers, Seer. It's probably like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> That's awkward. <clears throat> Pit my streamer? Did I write it? Okay, thank god I didn't write it down. We're not naming it Pit my streamer. <laughs> I feel like people are gonna, like, <laughs> people from this stream are gonna write that in, uh, the actual show chat. And I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna watch and laugh and know. <coughs> No one- Ew! No, dude! It's called the Garb Games? I don't- <laughs> Why does- The Garb Games sounds like a burp. I don't know. I don't know. I think it'll be a sick show. I'm excited now because yeah, my only thing- the only thing I wasn't sure about, I was like, I don't know how like the average Twitch viewer actually feels about this idea. Because yeah, my producer liked it, but uh... Oh, and you could call it GG, yeah. 
People call them garbage games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as long as it's not like a shit show, uh, it doesn't have to be like the most successful successful show ever. I was just like, if I'm gonna do a show, I don't want it to be like uh, some other Twitch shows I've seen. Where I was like, oh my god, bro, they don't know what they're doing. Call it shit show. That's good. Name and shame now? No, I, I don't think I'll do that. Oh, I really liked Hive Mind. I think Hive Mind is the best show that Twitch did. Hive Mind was good. I forgot about Hive Mind. That was probably the best Twitch produced show. <clears throat> Have I looked at the Dark Souls wiki again? Uh, I haven't, no. The chat interaction is huge, I think. Yeah, I would definitely like to incorporate some kind of chat interaction throughout the show even if it's just like voting or something i love chat interaction for shows your offline chat will ruin it bro i'm not gonna you think i would do like some kind of interaction where chat has like that much power no no have you looked at the Twitch tracker yet? I have actually. I look every day. I just like to know when I did something that was good. Is that is that really that weird? I feel like every streamer does that. I mean, some look like some look obsessively, but <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> Why are we so afraid to admit it then? Um. <coughs> well, when he said that, I thought he was gonna say something worse. Like, I don't even know, like, what it would have been, but it, it just made me scared. And I was like, oh, it's that? Are you serious? That's fucking nothing. What is worse? I don't know. I'm a fucking weirdo, dude. worst things? I don't know. Like, <laughs> the skeletons in your closet. Well, when someone's like, oh my god, I'm about to expose you. I'm gonna tell everyone that you're like, what, dude? What did I do? Show history. Bro, I be pulling up my Twitch tracker. So what? You had it on deck? I already pulled it up. Nice cosplay. Were there? I didn't even see them. Oh my god, it knows me. It knows me. I would wear none of these. No, I would- I like this one and this one. It's listening. It is. He was about to expose you for being responsible for LA housing crisis. Oh. <coughs> what are we gonna see on the stream? Um... Yeah, probably everything that you said. 
Probably everything that you said, but, um, like I said, I literally just came up with the pitch, like, half an hour before I went live on this alt, so... Uh... I don't know yet, but I'll figure it out. <clears throat> what if y'all accepted submissions? From cosplay hobbyists to split screen during a train. Oh, that's a nice idea. Um, submissions. That's a nice idea. Like, yeah, we could have like a little slideshow. Well, like, cause yeah, it's a Twitch show, that, so they're definitely gonna want ad breaks. Probably like one or two ad breaks. <clears throat> More like 10? I thought they usually did two for Twitch shows. <coughs> you can't add your own sponsors? I mean, I don't really- The show doesn't really need its own sponsors if Twitch is giving a budget. I don't know what I would use. Well, actually- No, actually maybe having a sponsor would be good because I could have a sponsor to beef up the prize pool. Maybe I'll ask Melissa. Cause she came in fucking clutch with Essence last time. To get paid yourself? Eh, I don't- I don't need that. I'm gonna be making enough money off of just having the streams. Cause I mean, Twitch is gonna be running ads on my channel and the ad breaks. So, I already don't run ads. I just have like the default Twitch ads. Fansly. Oh my god. Fansly does pay a lot. I have I have heard the rumors. <clears throat> Too girly? It's not that. It's just the association could potentially make some people uncomfortable. But it's probably fine. What's the worst sponsor you would take? Shitty mobile game ads. I I don't take um gambling or adult sponsors like drinking alcohol sponsors. Raid? Okay, well, I never even did raid. Because, holy shit, I do not like that game. I thought it was boring as hell. You could have big tobacco and alcohol. Yeah, like, um, Bud Light's done stuff on Twitch. Um, there's, there's some other smaller alcohol companies, I don't remember. I don't know if there's really, like, vaping or smoking ads, though, but... <coughs> Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Would you do a cigarette sponsor for a lot? No. I, I get why <laughs> streamers do. Like gambling sponsors and stuff, but I I don't know. I would not want to do it. You guys are making me hit the boom boom. Cigarette ads are illegal? I actually don't know. Yeah, I, I do sound like I've been smoking. <laughs> boom boom sponsor? Why would they give me money when I already shill them so much for free that, and they don't even know I exist? Ugh. Have we done a COVID test? 
I haven't actually, but I'm um, up to date on my boosters and I don't feel like it's COVID. I guess it could be, but I, I haven't had any of like the symptoms besides coughing, so I, I really don't think it is. Good reason? Well, I've had COVID, so I know what it what it's like, and what I have is not it. I mean, it could just be COVID, but like, in the not as bad form, but still. Oh, my nose is so cold and spicy because of Boom Boom. Ugh. My favorite Boom Boom is uh, the melon one. How is Kansas? Any new stories? Didn't I already talk about- I mean, not much happened. I literally went there, spent time with my parents, my mom made soup, I just sat and talked with them, I hung out with my brother, I went to my old Kansas house, that place feels depressing as hell. Uh, I hung out with some of my friends from high school, got dinner on Christmas Eve with them. Uh... Yeah, I approached it and- oh, I went and talked to my grandma. Oh my god. My grandma- okay, so my grandma is, um... She's like, in her upper 70s, but she's a very intelligent, clear-minded woman still. And, uh, she- she started t telling me that some- Some schizos, like, found her email or something, apparently. And they were, like, emailing my grandma being like, Your granddaughter is in danger. She needs to move out of her house. Because there are these horrible men there. And she needs to leave OTK. And here's, like, why. And they sent her, like, a bunch of, like, stuff. Like, articles. And my grandma, being the smart person she is, was like, I mean, okay, so <laughs> I, I would have just told her, like, Grandma, don't email them back at all, but she's older. And she was like, I don't believe you, you have to, like, send me actual proof. And also, I know my granddaughter wouldn't, like, be somewhere where she's in danger, she's a fucking adult. And she had, like, two emails back and forth with this person and they just, like, disappeared. Cause my grandma was like, yeah, I don't believe you, you're a schizo. See, but the thing is, like, I don't- I'm sure it's possible, but I don't know how a random person would find my grandma's email. So my- my theory was that the schizo is someone that I know from my hometown that would know who my grandma is. Like, someone I went to high school with that's still, like, obsessed with me or something. That- that was my theory, but I was like, bro, what the fuck? But my grandma was like, yeah, I just wanted to tell you, like, just in case there actually was something, but I'd assume that th I assumed that there wasn't. And I was like, yeah. Sorry to hear about- oh, my grandma doesn't actually care that I was just like, damn, that's wild. But I was just like, bro, what is wrong with people? Sorry you had to live in Kansas. Maybe Kansas does just, like, give people issues, I don't know. <laughs> Only in Kansas. Did you send Greg videos of the vet? Yeah, I sent my parents my Hatsune Miku pictures and my mom was so fucking happy. And she sent them to, like, my cousins in, uh, Asia. And they were like, oh, it's Hatsune Miku. And my mom was like, who the f who's Hatsune Miku? I don't understand. Who is that? My sister's like obsessed with Hatsune Miku too. And my mom never fucking remembers any anything like that. So every Christmas I get my sister like four Hatsune Miku things. Like this year I got her like um, a pillow and like a, a cap 
and some Hatsune Miku snacks and like some plushies and uh my mom was like who's Hatsune Miku who like who's this character and I'm like mom you ask this question every Christmas for the past four years and then my sister's like oh it's not like a, a character from a show she's like a, a software mascot and my mom's like I don't understand and it'll be like a 30 minute discussion then my mom will just like forget the next day Does your sister know Miku is a landlord? Uh, <laughs> is your mom an engineer? Yes, my mom is like... She's like a... She's very... How do I explain? She's very like school and uh... Like math, logic smart. But when it comes to, like, life stuff, she is an airhead. It is the- the str she is, like, the strangest person to deal with sometimes. But I like my mom. Book smart? It, like, goes beyond that, bro. Like, she just, like, does not understand or remember things. But she's- she designs airplanes for, like, one of the biggest airplane manufacturers in the world. And I'm like, what the fuck? And she's also- she's like the project manager for- and she like has two engineering degrees and then she's like- <laughs> I don't know. I mean- <laughs> uh, Yeah, I mean, she just allocates her brain to that stuff and not other things, I guess. She's just like me, dog, for real. Huh. Your parents are that smart you turn out a league streamer. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like, you know how they say skip a generation? For my family, it's like two generations than one, because my grandma's, uh, like an- she was like an- what did she do? I don't remember what- my grandma had like a, a job job but she also became an author for a bunch of books and then my grandfather was a- I think it was a literature professor for a college. And then my parents are both double degree ma master's engineers and then there's me. I did see Buff Cousin on Christmas. That was when, uh, we planned for her to, uh, come visit. It was because one of my uncles was like, oh, I got your video in my recommended that had Anna Kate in it. Her name's Anna Kate. And I showed her and she was like, oh, well, that explains why I was getting, um, DMs about Twitch and me becoming a Twitch streamer. And she was like, I actually think it might be kind of fun to, like, stream workouts. And I was like, oh, well, if you want to, like, come on my stream, I can, like teach you stuff, and then people would like hear about your stream to get you started. And she was like, okay. And then yeah. She actually didn't get any weirdos, she showed me the DMs. Does she have the same sense of humor as you? Um... <coughs> when we were younger, yeah, but we haven't really been close since we were like in high school, so I actually don't know. I, I barely get to talk to her now. But I mean, she like knows the like banter humor, so I think it'll be fine. Will we be able to do a push-up after- I mean, it's gonna be like a weekend, it's not gonna be like a month of training. I will try to keep up with whatever she teaches me, though. What even is your humor? It's not really a sense of humor, it's more just like, antagonizing people. 
because I can. Because I can get away with it. Because of the person that I am. So I just antagonize them. And then act flabbergasted when they do it back. It's fun though. For, fun for me. Maybe not for them. <laughs> No one calls me Dickaroo besides you guys. <laughs> Are you getting those new rims? Yeah, I do want to get new rims, but I don't know when it's not on my priorities right now. I need to ask someone to help me. Probably Space Boy, because he was DMing me about the Corvette, because he has one too. He has a black Corvette. His looks really cool. Already sounds better than yours, bruh. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, I want black rooms. next corvette stream i don't know actually i don't really have collabs planned for the next two weeks besides um my brother and my cousin um well with my cousin um extra emily milan and bonnie all said that they would be interested in doing it so i guess that kind of counts but i mean i usually plan collabs like three days out anyway but i've been worried about other stuff Oh shit. Those are nice. Yeah, I don't really care for the silver wheels. Oh my god, that looks sick. America. I kind of like the wheels where you can like see that red part, but I don't think it would look good online. How much can your cousin bench though? I actually don't know. <laughs> the red part? I don't know what it's called. The caliper? What 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 does that do? Why is that there? Brake caliper? Oh. Okay. Okay, I see. Brake pads, okay. I don't know shit about cars. <coughs> Next stream when? I'll stream tomorrow. What the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't know shit about cars. Darks, yeah, I downloaded both the games because I didn't know which one I was gonna end up playing on stream the first day. Do you get tired of the backseating? Not really. I feel like I just fully let my brain degrade to the point where nothing on Twitch really, like, actually bothers or annoys me anymore. And if anything, I'm like, well, this is good because at least it, like, adds more to the stream, I guess. No, the only thing that I don't like is, um, I don't like coomers in chat. Well, like, the people that come in and they're like, 
Hello, darling, I missed you. How is your day, sweetie pie? I hate those people, but everything else is fine. I don't really care about anything else. Souls viewers are notoriously terrible. Well, I guess it's easier for me since my chat is usually pretty fast. Like, um, I can just ignore it. <laughs> or I like how when I ask a question, uh, the backseaters will start typing, but before I can see it, people start spamming rhyme <laughs> to like drown them out. I'm like, all right, guys. <laughs> I think that's funny, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it must be so awkward if people like that on a small stream. Yeah. Uh, I, I do remember when I would have slow chat and like the messages would just sit there like awkwardly <laughs> and mobs would be like, do I time this out? Cause if it's like very ambiguous <laughs> and it would just be like really awkward, <laughs> like no one acknowledges it and it's just sitting there for like five minutes. The one hour rat still luck was great. No, it was not, bro. I thought I thought it was over for me. I thought I was done for. But I was like, I can't I can't quit here. I I have to get past this. Do you think you'll actually finish Dark Souls or get bored and move on when it gets too hard? I think I'll actually finish it. I mean, because um it's one of those things where I know that if I quit, I'm never gonna live it down, so my mental won't let me. But I mean, if it does get to a point where I've, I'm literally too bad to beat it, then I guess I won't have a choice. But at that point, I'd probably just ask Asmin or someone for advice and just like keep going. I think you'll be fine, all right. Do you like enough to move on to Dark Souls 3? So far, yeah. Uh, how far would you guys say I am in the game? Like 20% through? 10% through? 5 to 10%? Um, I can't say for sure then if I'll want to play Dark Souls 3, but right now I'm like 10 out of 10, yes I will. But, I mean, if it's- if I'm only that far in the playthrough then I don't know how I'm gonna feel, but as of right now, I do want to play Dark Souls 3. You don't play a lot? Well, I think, um, starting now I should be able to have longer play sessions. It's just that yesterday, I had already agreed to help Miz with his stream. And then some of those other days, I wasn't able to play for as long as I wanted to. What was the reason that I stopped for, um, the other ones? I don't know, but I'll probably play in, like, three to four hour sessions, if not more. Has had you on his schedule today, too? Um... Yeah, I, I said I would help today too, but I was so fucking tired yesterday. I didn't say that I couldn't. I was like, sure, I'll still help. But um, he ended up being like, I'll just ask someone else to help. And I was like, all right, I'll cosplay then. But then I ended up not even cosplaying today because my meetings were so long. Like the uh, steak and eggs meeting I thought would be like 20 minutes because I had a a bullet point list of talking points for the meeting that was only four things long, but then it ended up being like 30 things. But, um, it's nice though because there's literally no details to iron out. It's just waiting for production stuff. Is it actually gonna be steak and eggs? Yep.
Hardest part is having Asmin actually leave the house. I I thought that would be a problem too, but he was actually like super gung ho about it. Cause like one part of the meeting was I was like, okay, what's our recording schedule gonna be like? Cause I know it's a hassle for Asmin, but me and Tectone don't care. And I was saying like maybe we can film every other week. And Tect or not Tectone, Asmin was like, nah, bro, let's film every week. And I was like, well, okay then. But, um, we did schedule it so that it's, um, we film when he's on the side of town anyway for his, um, OTK owner meetings. So, it, I mean, it just means he has to drive out two hours earlier, so it's really no difference for him. It, it just worked out that way. Are you worried Steak Games will give the wrong ideas of what the show's about? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, do you think the yard is about football or being outside? <laughs> I just feel like it's like a general name. Yeah, oh well, my bad. <laughs> I should have thought of that then. It's an inside joke. That was something that our producer talked about, but I feel like it's fine. Like, it sounds like such a generic name that even if you don't know, it's like... A reference to our streams it it doesn't really matter because steak and eggs is a thing so yeah the noodle shop was about noodles <laughs> not a single noodle was sold it was actually a scam podcast yeah cancelled The bunny mascot was cool. I don't know what, um, so Freem designed the mascots and logo for the noodle shop, and she's also doing it for steak and eggs. I, I don't know, like, what she has planned, but she's gonna, like, probably give us, like, a, a board in, like, a couple weeks. But, I mean, we might be able to reuse the mascots. I kind of, like, don't want it to be as, like, cutesy, though, because I feel like it was- the mascots made sense because it was, like, an anime podcast, but now it's, like, a more gen- I mean, I'm probably just overthinking it, overanalyzing. I don't know. I'm really excited about it, though. Like, the set is- <laughs> this- I mean, you'll see. Steak and Egg sounds like a generic morning podcast name. Yeah, like it's generic, but then it's like, if you know, you know, then it's like, better. <laughs> Some people don't know. I get the egg part, but not the steak one. Uh, steak is for Asmin because of his famous... $2 steaks, like, that was a thing for a while, and that's, like, all he eats is those, like, shitty $2 steaks that he cooks. So, uh, yeah, that's for Asmin, and then eggs are me and Tectone. <clears throat> shitty? I mean, bro, I, you know what I mean? I didn't know steaks when it was low. Well, it's not steak, it's like, it's not like steak steak, it's like a skirt steak cut, like those like thin little like fajita things, kind of? I don't know like what it's called. It's not like a restaurant steak cut, like a thick cut, it's just like these little thin things that he does. But it, I mean, it is, I don't know how to explain it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Who's gonna be the first guest? Well, I can't, I don't know yet, bro. I also wouldn't spoil it, but like I said earlier, I would imagine that most of the guests are gonna be OTK people. And we'll probably have OTK people on multiple times. Not like quickly, like we'll give it like a couple months cooldown, but we, we will have other guests too. We talked about like Lakari and stuff. Or just like whoever wants to come on, that's cool. I 
Uh, we can make VTubers work, yeah. We were actually planning to do that on Noodle Shop in the next, like, two to three episodes that were planned, but then, uh, you know, rip bozo. But we do have the technology. <laughs> uh, it just- it just never happened. So yeah, we- we could have, like, Snuffy or Veibei or Silvermail or something. Or Iron Mouse. One of those people. We pretty much just green screen in their avatar and then we hear them on, uh, headset and, yeah, easy. Are you gonna wear the headset this time? Ugh. For a VTuber, sure. I want to see the Asmin episode because I don't think he watches anime. He actually does. He saw- he has seen a lot of stuff, but I mean, we can recycle a lot of the talking points we used for his episodes because it was actually a really good episode. How are your plants doing? Uh, they're dead. Yeah. Can you rename the channel to keep the subs? Uh, that was something that we talked about, but our <laughs> our advisor, uh, Schlat Schlatticus, was like, you should do that because XYZ YouTube algorithm stuff, and we were like, okay, we'll just start from scratch. It's kind of, I feel like it's nice too, just like clean slate, you know, it's fine. I don't think it'll be a problem getting back up to the subs we had, because fucking Asmund's on there. Let's well, switch Slat anyway. Um, he just wanted to go do some other stuff that was like in conflict. And um, he still wanted to help with stuff though, so it's just like he's doing that, but he's pretty much just like an advisor. I, I don't know. Who is Asmund originally going to do the podcast with? Uh, what? What do you mean? It was us. I I asked him. It was my idea. Well, yeah, he had um all craft, but uh, that's also Ribozo. <clears throat> oh, the other podcast he was planning. Oh yeah, I, I heard about that. I actually don't know. I don't know if he ever figured that out. Actually. It is a mystery now, no one will know. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna go, I have to do laundry and, um, type up a cleaner version of my notes to send to the producer for the cosplay show. Yeah, game night soon, I swear. <coughs> okay, bye. <coughs>